The word of God is Allah and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Before we could ever start our discussion or discourse, or trying to know the word of the Lord, it is very much essential for us to look and to understand the rebound principle in the privacy of our priesthood. In the privacy of our soul, when we confess our sins directly to God the Father in the use of our priesthood, Lord God the Holy Spirit, the later part of the verse of 1 John 1 9, not only forgives the sins that you have done which you remember, but also the unforgotten sins or unconfessed sins. So that anytime, anywhere, whenever we approach, to learn or to hear the word of the Lord, it is quite essential for us to be the partaker of the living ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. If we are not in the living fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, there is not even an inch that you can understand from Bible doctrine. Since you cannot understand Bible doctrine, which is quite evident for us to look and to understand purely under the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, you will come to the point of heretics and cults that have been clearly noted throughout the world. In the first century, when Apostle Paul told to Timothy, Hymenius and Philetus, nothing has been made known about the Philetus, but Hymenius we do know, again, the reference of him. These both men already started to preach that the resurrection has been passed and it even corrupted the innocent faith or the doctrine of some who were really waiting for the Lord to come again as such even we are waiting for the rapture to be taken place and then coming back of our Lord. The point of consideration wherewith you and I need to consider. When Apostle Paul told that there was a cancer during that period of the first century, in 68 AD when he was writing his dying declaration, now in the 21st century we look the cancer to the final stage. It has been spread more dangerously than the gangrene which is going to spread for your own body when you have sickness of gangrene. It is now at the third and final stage of the cancer wherewith you can come back and look the way how the trends of the Christendom have been gone. The trends where we are practicing today with various denominations of Christendom, not having proper exposition of Bible doctrine, not having thorough principle to understand the word of the Lord under the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, nor able to use the priesthood in the privacy of your soul to confess your sins and to be always the partaking ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and to be looked in the enlightenment power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to understand the word and get back to the consciousness wherewith you can align the things which Bible doctrine wants to teach to you. And you get aligned to the things which the word of the Lord has to explain to you and not to fall a trap for the silly thoughts, useless and worthless thoughts, claiming to yourself that this is right and that is wrong, claiming to think that this could be better and that could be wrong, and claiming even to the point of fact that such and such prophecies have been fulfilled in the church age and such and such prophecies are yet to be fulfilled and we are waiting for those prophecies to be fulfilled in the church age. Why these reasons, why these failures to understand and rightly deliver the word of truth is purely because you are not in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit. When you are there in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit, it is Lord God the Holy Spirit who is going to expound to you or expel to you the truths. It is not that the Holy Spirit is going to explain to you Bible doctrine more clearly than any other man in this world because it is not flesh and blood can teach you. The bona fide gift of a pastor teacher under whom whomsoever is a right pastor teacher has to explain to you the word from the original languages of the scriptures. He has to isolate, categorize and exegete the word more accurately. Not the way the people will term the dispensation list as if they are following the hermeneutical principle to word by word and they are not following the allegorical method or literal method or figurative method in interpretation of the scriptures. 
whether it is an allegory or literal or figurative when you take the original language of the scriptures you can rightly divide it and there aren't enough loyal dispensationalists as well who are not leading to the straightforward exegesis and there aren't enough men as well who can teach this straightforward exegesis to tell the passage of Acts chapter 2 verses 16 through 18 the fulfillment of Joel has not been made yet and they want to proclaim by the Pentecostal crowd yes it has been done so that they can gibberishly jump around in the ecstatic moment telling that the spirit has come upon them and there aren't enough men who can refute fearing the softies that the congregation will be divided fearing the softies that their speaking in tongues will be absolutely hurt they want to still blaspheme the mental ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit which is there in our lives they want to blaspheme my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by their tongues language and in fact when if they could take the passage to be fulfilled this is that what is the conjunction of contrast what it has been explained in Acts chapter 2 verse 16 if you could take it to the point then the Sun should be literally darkened the moon should be turned out to earth to to red when those things have not occurred then how do you say that you are into the passages of the millennium or the passages which have to be yet taken place in the tribulation and why is the failure to understand all these things purely because you do not know the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit is not emotion so that you can gibberishly jump around dance around and look around and think around the ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit when you use rebound by not grieving him squelching him or lying to him who is a divine person not the powers He controls your soul so that you can learn Bible doctrine as number one criteria and search the scriptures diligently. So that when you search the scriptures diligently, you will come back to the point of realization. To know the truth, the truth shall set you free. And by no other means it is possible for you to get back. Under the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to reason around, to look around, to think around. When you are not in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, you will never understand the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, until unless you die and go to heaven and you will think what you have lost. This great unique ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, followed by Lord God, the Father, and Lord God, the Son, is of so great and important to our life. But never you will understand what it is. Never you will come to know what it is until and unless you use rebound 1 John 1 9 never you will understand what you have constructed the foundation being laid sure the foundation being our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the house of which you are going to construct with gold silver precious stones or with wood as trouble will be manifested if it has been constructed into gold silver and precious stones it meant to say you have been there constantly under the controlling power ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit so that by redeeming the time purchasing the time not letting it to go and purchasing the time for what so that you shall know the truth not for the cheap gimmicks not for the aesthetical tang languages of the tongues that you speak not for your miracles or healings not for your emotional based worship services and in fact even indeed not for your morality good deeds that you think that have been qualified to do good deeds which is not good deeds, but manishos cloth without the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Dear brethren, in the world wide we do find men who are not loyal to word of the Lord. In the whole world we do find men who are not thoroughly purging themselves by searching diligently in a prayer as David prayed. Search me diligently, O Lord, know me, know my heart, know my anxious thoughts, and see if there is any offensive way, lead me in the way of everlasting. No one is praying that. If they would have prayed it, they would have come to know what is the truth in Christ. They would have been eagerly enough and they would have been jealously enough to understand what is Bible doctrine. They would have not led to blaspheme the character of my Christ. 
They are not led to undervalue or undermine the true words of Lord God Almighty in our life. And they would have not valued nor the truth when Apostle Paul himself instigated dispensation. This man never know what is the meaning of dispensation. And this man, they want to attach a slogan or a slogan, dispensational, no, dispensational premillennists. Who the hell worries about your thinking about us? When Bible doctrine is dispensation taught by Apostle Paul, who and I are we that we can go against the teaching of Apostle Paul? In fact, even our Lord who instigated the dispensation method of teaching the word of the Lord while he was still alive on this earth. And one of these days, in the next day, we will continue with the methods of dispensations. Some morons want to catch around the things about C.S. Schofield. The teachings, what he has told about the innocence, conscious government. That is not correct. That is not rightly dividing. Maybe he might have put a foundation. But more refined, more accurate. We do find in the book of dispensations given by Robert Bunker Thieme. Don't follow all such kind of a stupid things which can lead you to heresy. And call yourself all dispensationalists are all the same. Know the truth. Understand Bible doctrine. Then you can rightly divide. But which has been used as a conjunction of contrast taken by into the point of this is that which means this is not that and there are not enough men who can really expose the word of the Lord as it is and teach if not the tongues crowd will get hurt the holy rollers will get hurt and what about the literal fulfillment of the sun becoming dark that they don't want to tell and speculate dear brethren we have come to the stage of where cancer has been gone to the point of the third stage. Cancer began when Apostle Paul was there. When he told it is spreading like cancer, it has been spreaded to such kind of an extension, we are there in the third and final stage of this cancer period in the churches. Amillennialism, post-millennialism, pre-tribulation, mid-tribulation, post-tribulation. Why all these errors, dear brethren, when the doctrine is very clear, when there is no prophecy for the church age, who are you to speculate about the prophecy, the church age? So that you should know and tell in which period of prophecy we are. And Don Blackwell, the man who represented the Church of Christ, who is an amillennialist, tells that he has really defended even Billy Graham, and now the American Baptist churches have been confirmed, and they have been really transformed into the point of Reformed Baptist churches, and they're following Amillennialism. Who the hell cares about that doctrine, what he has been telling? And in his tape over 30 minutes of video, what has been displayed, the errors what he's telling about the pre is that they believe this, that they believe that, he himself doesn't know what is the true definition of a dispensationalist or a pre so that he can tell to you all about amillennialism. And this man thinks he's great in quoting this verse and that verse and this, this method and that method. And he tells that Revelation 1 is a sign language. What is a sign language? God's word is coached up in logic. And it demands on part of the pastor teacher to be thoroughly trained, not from the original languages, but from the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, so that in return he can direct you to learn the original languages and teach you through exegesis. So what the dispensing technique of dispensations. Lord is not an author of confusion or distortion. So that you can think, see how the way Lord has told. Lord is absolutely clear to his word. The problem is with you that you understand wrongly. And you tell the things which are there and you go globally. For what? Being a false representative of the word of the Lord. Being a false teacher for Satan. And being an agent of them. And leading apostasy to the core in the pulpits. So 
that the people who are there for your care who are being innocent could be easily jumbled, mingled, distorted, given to the own self-destruction about the unique spiritual life which has been more concentrated today in the church age and which has to be the mystery doctrine of the church age in the pulpits. A good knowledge about eschatology is required so that you can correct your present life. But you do not know what is eschatology. How can you explain about the difference between premillennialism and the postmillennialism or the amillennialism or the preterist doctrines which they have come around or the dispensationalists who have come around? Whatever you think to support your viewpoint, you tell dispensationalists is wrong. First know the true definition of dispensation. First come and look and understand why our Lord instigated, why Apostle Paul taught it, and why we should teach it to rightly divide the world of truth in the pulpit. Half knowledge is always dangerous. Your own intellectual exercises cannot divide the word of the Lord. No flesh and blood could come to the point of conclusion. When our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ asked the disciples who I am, some told he was Jeremiah, some told he was one of the prophets, some told he was John the Baptist as well, but it could be a shame to tell them that he was John the Baptist because already John the Baptist is existing contemporary to him. But who told rightly? It was Peter who told, Lord, you are Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God. What was the right answer given by, by our Lord as replied to him? Now flesh and blood can teach you as revealed it to you. It is my Father in heaven. What a ministry it is for us to look. The importance of blood God, the Holy Spirit in our lives. To walk in the principle of faith and understand Bible doctrine more evidently, more clearly. And to be in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, how important it is for us to understand the rebound technique, the rebound principle, without which it is highly impossible for us to get back into the fellowship. Either you can live as a believer in a dungeon, or you can live in a divine palace which Lord has designed for you. A dungeon out of fellowship, a divine palace in fellowship. And you can be enlightened to learn the word of the Lord when you are in divine palace, not in the dungeon. And the only prayer which Lord hears for you when you're in the dungeon, when you're out of fellowship, is rebound 1 John 1 9, taking your responsibility for your decisions in the privacy of your priesthood. And in the privacy of the priesthood is what you and I need to understand what is the truth. You cannot stay back, you cannot look around. Without the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and try to speculate, though you are a believer in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Neither you will understand what you meant to say, the kingdom of Christ, the kingdom of God. The problem is not with Zachariah who claimed against my Lord that he was not being crucified nor resurrected. The problem is with these believers who are in the church age today, who have been reached to the status of cancer third stage, who do not even know what is the differentiation between the dispensation and rightly dividing the world of truth. And what is the purpose of the church to show forth the manifold wisdom of God, the much variegated, the much colored. Because the church being a university, the pastor teacher being the dean, and each and every believer being a saint, as a professor to each and every angel to tell what he is really learning from the word of the Lord. I really doubt so many people who are there in the realm of Christianity throughout the world who cannot be equivalent to Zacharnayak. He is blaspheming my Lord from the other end, being an unbeliever, but these are the traitors being believers not know how to rightly deliver the word of truth, and these traitors are more blasphemous than them because he is leading their own generation to follow into hell, but here they are only depriving their own brother to cheat. As per 1 Corinthians 6, 8, cheating one another, depriving them for their own spiritual life, not capable of making them to understand what is the truth of reality in our Lord, what we have been given. We do find so many members in the church age today who do not really value the word of the Lord. Since they really do not value the word of the Lord, which do not align with the scripture, which do not align with the original languages of the harmonical principle, 
such kind of uh, errors, heresy, and result, cults, distortions, ending up in apostasy has been there as ultimate criteria. And that ending up of apostasy is purely nothing but a simple dogmatical truth which tells to us a rejection of Bible teaching in the pulpit. No proper exposition of Bible doctrine in the pulpit. Answering back Zachariah is not a big deal for us. We know he's spiritually brain dead. He cannot even come close. What is the word of the Lord? Because he cannot understand the spiritual phenomena. But in return, training up our Christians, training up our fellow believers, training up our beloved brethren, and telling them to give number one criteria to Bible doctrine in the pulpits is the ultima wherewith I have been taken a role to tell to you all. Whether you hear these tapes, I don't care. My duty is to deliver the message. And Lord knows whom and to what for to give this distribution to those people who are interested to look. He is going to search you more clearly. He has already scanned and kept you what you are. And to whom this knowledge has been required, Lord will send to them only. Not for every cluck. Not throwing the pearls or the valuable things before dogs and swines because they do not value of it. They just throw it off. Lord knows who are the men that could be capable of hearing these tapes and Lord knows to whom to give this information. But dear brethren, why do you want to perish in your own sin? The sin of negligence, ignorance and arrogance to learn accurately the word of the Lord through the ministry of Lord get the Holy Spirit by using rebound. Why do you want to perish? And why do you want to exit yourself? To the wrong conclusions without having proper knowledge of Bible doctrine. It's a great pain and plea of my heart, an earnest appeal. Give number one criteria for Bible doctrine. Never waste your time. So, using rebound, I assume, We can continue our discourse in the next tape. But dear brethren, time is too short to waste. The responsibility laid down upon our shoulders is too large. We need to be working more violently than the way the technological end was lower end than to Apostle Paul went for his three missionary journeys. And he was telling in a eager enough, let us come back and go and look the way what you have thought of they are doing. Today we need to cross check again the teachings of Apostle Paul. Purely under the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and get back to the blueprint of our Lord and look what exactly is happening today in the Christendom and what exactly is the word of the Lord teaching to us. And what exactly is the knowledge of dispensations required for us in rightly dividing the word of truth so that we should be the men who have rightly done the work of the Lord and we should not be the men who have really gone astray by not rightly dividing the word of truth. Though we have been given the enlightenment ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, which could be done in the privacy of our priesthood. So that we could come back and look and understand more clearly, more evidently, the word of the Lord. In return, we should be much thankful to the people who have established Dallas Theological Seminary, our Moody Bible College. You know what for? They have led the people to know what is the truth. They have made them to understand what is dispensations. They have made them to understand what is this to rightly divide the word of truth. And they have really made them to understand how to defend the word itself when it can interpret itself through the original language of the scriptures, through the ice concept, which is isagogical, categorical, and exegetical explanation of the word. Or the dispensing technique of dispensations alone. Lord knows who will be the people. Lord knows the key man. Lord knows the purpose, when and how to rise the man. And we are the men that we can tell we have done it.
You cannot do anything of your own energy. You cannot do anything of your own intellectual mind. The filling of the Holy Spirit plus human IQ is a spiritual IQ. But the filling of the Holy Spirit demands your rebound, 1 John 1, 9. And your spiritual IQ is common to each and every one, though you are learnt or unlearnt. But you need to be stable, not unstable. Unstable means not having faith to learn the principle of using rebound to get back into fellowship with God. Unstable are many today in the pulpits. Want to look only emotional based worship services. Want to look only those things which could be profitable for them. Just for some pieces of bread or for some handful of barley, they are exchanging the glory of Lord to a lie. Exchanging their viewpoints to which is not contrary, which is not at all alignment to the word of the Lord, and which is absolutely contrary to the mind of Christ. If Zachariah and other people if they are aliens to Lord, still not believing in Christ. The one who have believed in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and proclaiming or oh, amillennialism, postmillennialism, and X, Y, Z things of what their mind is not in alignment with the dispensations, including the tribulation, which is pre, mid, or post, or oh, the hell cares about all those things. These are the men who are being termed out as traitors, traitors and traitors. These are the men who do not value the true importance of the mother who gave them sucking. These are the men who rise to the point of becoming big and squeeze and even smash off the breast of their mother who has fed them so that they could grow up. The mother's breast is nothing but the sincere word of God, what a pastor teacher tells them through the learning of Bible doctrine from the original language of scriptures. But when you grow up in your own intellectual exercises, what you're thinking? Bible doesn't value to me. That's why these are traitors. Do you know why I'm proud of to be an Indian? My country culture teaches to me. When we are in a dying position, when we are in a need, when we were an orphan who doesn't care for us anyone, if any man gives us a foot, though irrespective of his character, irrespective of his, of his family background, we consider that man as equivalent to our mothers. When I was an orphan spiritually, do not know what is the word of the Lord, God must appeal towards my Lord to give me a right teaching, to have a right and true fellowship. And I had a very good feeding from Robert Bunker Timmy. And he will be my mother to me. A spiritual father and a mother to me. And how can I we trot the teachings of such kind of a great man who has taught for us to rightly divide the word of the Lord through dispensations? And that's the culture. What do we follow in my country like India? That's the love what we share. And we do have men who are Hindu, undivided families still now who are unbelievers who know what is the value to love their family members if one of the brothers has been still dead. They do not leave the other family to hell like that. Maybe that is the culture in Western countries. But we do take care with love, with love, with love. And that's why the stability of my marriages in my country like India, though they are unbelievers, they call it a saptapadi, which is a great value for us, even the point of death, they will not depart. Not like the Western marriages in a bond agreement for one year, two years, three years, and then get out and get married to someone. More than this marriage, we have a great relationship with the one who has fed us the food. And I thank my Lord to give me who has given me Robert Bunker Timmy to feed the food of dispensations, in respect to whether I have gone to theological college or have known the theological messages or not. The present trends of Christendom, the way how the cancer has been spread, will could, will could be cut off or thought of to be cleared only by the true teaching of the word of the Lord. And I'm very much privileged and honored to be under the ministry of Robert Bunker Timmy, who has taught me to rightly divide the word of truth.
And I think no theological college can qualify for his teachings. They may call him as a dispensationalist. list. They may call him as a heretic. They may call him as a cult. I don't care. We know what it is in the word of the Lord and we stick to that. And when we were spiritually orphaned in my country like India where we do not have proper exposition of the word of the Lord, in fact even when we could count to the Christianity around 2-3% to in the entire India, if it were not a right and true appeal towards my Lord to give me the right desiring of your heart to have a right and true fellowship with thee, I wouldn't have got or I wouldn't have made me known to the teachings of Robert Bunker Thime. This is how God will work. This is how God will provide, provided you have an earnest desire towards Lord. Who is Robert Bunker Thime? Where he has studied, what it is, where I am. Maybe in my lifetime I would have not known his name. But Lord works and gives you the answers. The geographical will has been controlled by Lord. And when we are spiritually orphaned, he fed us with his spiritual food. And he is my spiritual father. And he is my spiritual mother. And we cannot go anything against him. And return, I am not idolizing myself to Robert Bunker Thime. But rather I am telling to you the importance of a pastor. Who could be a right pastor for you to train you up. Not to idolize him, but to look the knowledge of Bible doctrine, because he is also an unprofitable slave. Even we are unprofitable slaves. But for you to show forth your guidance, the way how the kid will be trained up by his father and mother to be a responsible citizen in this country. So that when you come to your senses, you can get back and look around and tell what is the truth. In the same procedure we do have. Robert Bunker theme for me to tell in the Bible what it is and what it is not. He is not my God. He is also a fellow servant of Lord God Almighty. We do follow the teachings of Apostle Paul. He is not our God. He is a fellow laborer with Christ. Even we are also following the same principle, dear brethren. But a man giving us right information in the grace of Lord is what which really makes the difference in this dispensation wherewith we are surviving in the third stage of cancer, dear brother. So, which way you want to go, you decide. In the next step, we shall continue our discourse. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing movements being given to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. In order to be telling to Lord God the Father that you believe upon Christ, that is the moment itself we shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for you is for very simple. Believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. And whereas for the believers, the great matter is to grow in grace and knowledge of Bible doctrine by searching the scriptures diligently, so that they shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor teachers, the great matter is to carry so thon long and herald the word in season or out of season, because for the diamond from my witnesses wherewith you have been called, the great diamond from my witnesses wherewith you have been called is the indwelling trinity, followed by Bible in our hands, and above all, the witnesses being your hearers. And if the no hearers, dear brethren, not worry, but you be faithful to the word of the Lord. Lord knows the hearers can be the nature as well as the entire angelic host. So which way you want to go, you decide in the next episode, continue our discourse. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that I was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us on these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge our in Lord. Father, we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.